number one entertainment show right here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Doreen Avio. This is Let's Talk Entertainment, and you know how we do it always bringing you all the latest in your world of entertainment. Well, today, before I bring you all the exclusive, you all know I love you, right? And talking about love, let's hear Love on the Brain by Rihanna. And right after this, we'll bring you the exclusive interview here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Rihanna Lover on the Brain. I really love that song to bits and I thought I should share it with you all, my loved ones, especially you, the viewers right there. Now let's move straight to our exclusive interview today. And I'm sure most of us know Mr. Bullare, Nathaniel Anochi Edisi. Yes, we all know him as Bullare. Yes, he's out with his new book, The Biography, and he tells his story. Interestingly, he was at Joy FM today and we caught up with him to tell us more about the book and also the entertainment industry. And uh, let's hear it all out from Bola Ray. So Bola, first of all, what inspired the book? Well, I think that uh, challenges in life, successes, you know, the ability and the drive to tell the story as it is. It's been 40 years on this planet, 20 years in the media business, and we believe that we all have books in us, so we need to tell our stories. You have a book in you. Bring it out. You know, say it. You want to maybe some will put it into a form of a song, others will, you know, poetry. I want to write a book, hence this book, to inspire people, to tell them that it is possible. No matter where you find yourself, you might be a truck pusher now, you might be an ice cream seller, you might be down there, but put your mind to it. Be filled with integrity and you can do it. With what you have now, would you call it success? Have you reached there yet? Well, success is, you know, relative. You having a child might be your success story. It brings you happiness. Success is relative. I mean, it means some people will qualify fame to be success. Some people will qualify wealth to be success. For me, it varies. It's not just one thing. Have a beautiful family. God has blessed me with great life, great work, great people around me, great family, a wonderful wife, great kids. What again can I ask for? It's not about the money. It goes beyond that. It transcends beyond. So many people want to relate success with wealth. I don't think that that is, you know, a facade. That is something that is out of this world. I don't think that is a mirage. Success is having beautiful people around you and celebrating life as and when you get it. And I have that. Woo. You have that. Now, looking at your journey, you have been most in the entertainment industry looking at our space now do you think we are growing or we still need time to go well I think that we're doing a great stuff but of course more room for us to work on what we're doing look at the movie industry yes we're going out there the Juliet Santis the um, attires and all of that look at Sarko there look at Shatawali filling auditoriums out there stone boy I mean but yes, we also have to push them. We want Ghana to bring home a Grammy. What are we doing? We need a concerted effort. The synergy should be there. Let's get Ministry of Tourism. It is a deliberate attempt. Let's go out there and showcase our stars. Music should get involved the more. Which acts? Let's have a, a plan, a strategic plan, that within the next two years, we want Ghana music to be out there. It doesn't happen by luck, no sheer luck. It's by planning. And that is the only way that we can work. So if it is deliberate and we 
set it upon ourselves, like we do for countries that qualify for World Cup and all of that. Put a committee together. Let's say that in the next two years, we want to be on the big stage around the world. Let's do it. Perform at, you know, the big, you know, shows out there. It is possible. Let's bring home a Grammy. Rocky Dawoni is doing it. People are doing it in their own individual ways. Can we bring them together, have a pool, and we know that we are conscious about it, and consistently and deliberately we are going to get there. We should be performing out there at the Grammys. We should be performing out there, having great interviews on great radio stages around the world. It is possible for us to do that. So it's about time. Okay. But Bola, before you go, I mean, there's this perception that Nigerians have actually dominated our industry. And day in, day out, it's a cry from our musicians. They keep complaining. And even with our airwaves, most of our pre presenters actually play Nigerian music, even our DJs, and they always complain about it. What is your take on that? It's all about confidence. I think that, you see, we play foreign music as well here in Ghana. Have you met DJ Khaled before? No. Yes, but you're, you're bouncing to, you know, wild thoughts and all of that. I think that we should also be aggressive enough to push into that space. Yes, I wish that we can do something about it, but the Nigerians are traveling into our country, and of course, they are promoting their music. What stops us from going out there? And that's why I ask for a concerted effort. The music can, can see that we're having a train, we're launching Ghana music, you know, week in Nigeria, in Dubai, in the US. There will be that attention on Ghana. And the Ministry of Tourism can also get into this space. Let's do it. Nigerians did it. Whiskey will travel and will be promoting. It didn't start now. Two Face, they all did it back in the day. It's our time to also go out there, get on the caravan. If the Ministry of Tourism can come up and say with Musica that this is going to be one month of Ghanaian music on our airwaves and every radio station should abide. We're going to have concerts in the Golden Triangle, Accra, Kumasi, Takrade, and Ad Tamale as well. Major concerts that will actually showcase our music. Why not? We need proper planning. It has to be deliberate. We have to be consistent and execute. Okay. We have fine ideas. Sometimes the problem is execution. Many have come out with good plans, great strategies, but when it comes to implementation, we've fallen foul. The time is now. We cannot do it all by ourselves. Let's call people on board. Let's rally around. Radio stations, TV stations should all play a role. Individuals, nightclubs, and all of that. We should be able to go to nightclubs and say, the television stations on there, we're playing local music. So that when foreigners come into the nightclub, which is some point of call for a lot of them, even hotels, at the lobbies and all of that, can't we have a directive? Or maybe we go and talk to them and say, play Ghanaian music, record it, put it on the pen drive, let it be shown at the reception. At least somebody will see something and take it away. Right. Now, you have been um, one person who has actually pushed the Ghana Meet Niger agenda, and we are really excited about it. But as much as we see it here in Ghana, we don't often see it in Nigeria. Don't you think that it gives too much room for the Nigerians to actually um, improve on whatever well, they are doing the here? The room wasn't built in a day, you know. We've had, you know, the idea of going to Nigeria severally. It's also getting the right contacts and partners to do that there. You should know that it takes a lot of money. I'm not a Nigerian. I don't live there. I can partners. This is my home country. I know the terrain better, as you are well aware of. We went to London this year for the first time to do Ghana music, I mean Ghana meets Niger in the UK. A lot of Nigerians and Indians alike came in. It's selling our music onto the international stage. We have partners in Nigeria. I have Sandy Ari that I'm talking to, so going to MI, talking to Chris, who owns Beat FM. If the offer is right, we want to go to Nigeria. And I think that when everything, like I said, room wasn't built in a day. We will bid our time. Let's see what happens. Maybe when it happens in Nigeria, it's going to be an eruption, something big. And God, in his wisdom, appointed time, will go to there. All right, before we wrap up now, you have some advice for our acts in the industry and, of course, people who also look up to you as a mentor. Stay humble. Thank you. who took turns to perform exhibited great music dexterity proven the region still has the edge to produce more award-winning artists. Remy J, known for his hip-hop sensation kickstart at the night with a wild performer. <laughs> while bad and hip live artists in the gar of Sizzla One Entertainment did not fail to leave a mark on the minds of music lovers who thronged the venue. The likes of Hector, Kasari and Blaze performed with Anomaly using the platform to perform his new song titled A Sogli Yam Festival, composed solely for the celebrations. <laughs> Kenny 
his wild fans with his freestyle rap prowess, while a solid performance from the one and only Lady Artis for the night, Tina, left fans yearning for more. The king of the streets, Quaukes, has said the crowd ablaze by adding the icing on the cake for the night. The Let Me Do My Thing hit maker delivered a mind-boggling energetic performance dropping hit songs after hit songs. <laughs> He climaxed the carnival with a performance of his newly released song, Envy, which is enjoying a massive airplay. Fred Kwame Asaris reports for Joy News. you who were not at the Asogli Yam Festival, you saw it all. That was rapper Kwao Kese. We are hoping that we, go, we get more artists who would be part of this festival next year. On that note, that's it for Let's Talk Entertainment. I'm Doreen Avio. You can get more of our stories on myjoyonline.com, the entertainment page. And also remember to interact with me on Twitter at Doreen Avio and on Instagram. It's Doreen underscore Avio. Do enjoy your evening.